Here we are, the final week of the UFC 210 video blog with Desmond Green. Des, what's going on? How are you? Hey, man. How's it going? How's it going? Doing good. Doing good. Just finished up my last uh, workout of the day. Uh, actually doing some meal prep, cooking for uh, this week ahead of me. Good stuff. What uh, What'd you do in your workout tonight? Um, So this morning I had like a, a wrestling jiu-jitsu, like a whole MMA practice uh, with the team. And then um, I had a private mid session with uh, Henry Hoof at uh, what was that six thirty, and then um, you know I went to LA Fitness and got uh, got some um, work, got like a little stretch in the sauna. I like to go to the sauna every now and again just to stretch. Cool, good stuff. Uh, so this past weekend we didn't have a UFC. We had the Invicta card. Um, I saw you went out, I think, to the safari or something with your family. How was that? Yeah, to the kids. Uh, to the kids to the safari the lion safari out in um uh a little a little north of uh del rey it was it was nice it was beautiful man um the kids loved it like we got to drive through you know we seen lions we seen uh rhinos giraffes the whole nine you know my son he's uh he's going on four he was loving it he, you know we weren't supposed to roll the windows down but you know of course i was <laughs> i had those windows down he's hanging out looking at them uh, you know, even my daughter, she's like, she's looking at the birds. We've seen, you know, like uh, ostriches. I didn't know ostr- I knew they were big, but man, those things are huge. But uh, it was fun. It was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And how important is that during fight camp to get those moments with your family and things like that, just to kind of take your mind off fighting? Because sometimes you need it. It gets kind of stressful. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it was. You know, I, I was real heavy in the camp. Um, you know, I'm two weeks out, and a lot is on my mind. It was nice to just, like, get away from all of it, get away from the gym, get away from the coaches, and, uh, you know, just spend time with the kids and, you know, just kind of enjoy that, that, that moment of peace. Um, you know, it was real fun. Definitely, definitely fun. Now, I know your uh, family that, that lives in New York is going to come out to your fight, but what about, uh, you know, like your girlfriend and, and your kids, and, and, and are they, they're probably not coming out, right, for the fight, or are they going to come out? Um, yeah, yeah. So my kids are going to be out there. Uh, yeah, my kids are going to be there. Yeah, uh, they're they're working on getting all three of them there because you know my one lives in the Bronx, so right. we're working on getting her up there. And then uh, yeah, I'm working on getting the two my two my two ones that live here, working on getting them down to New York. Uh, but yeah, I plan on all three of them being there for the fight. Those guys are my biggest motivation right there. Yeah, it must be so great having them uh, supporting you, especially in your in your UFC debut. It's like the biggest fight of your career. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's why I want them all there. You know, it's uh. It's going to be such a sweet moment, and I know 100% that my hand is getting raised. Uh, so I just I want everybody to be there when that happens. And, uh, you know, just talking about it put the biggest smile on my face. I, I just can't wait to uh, go up there and get my first win on the biggest stage of my career. Awesome. All right. Well, now now we're finally on the last week. Let's talk about your opponent. Let's talk about this matchup. Josh Emmett, you've had some time now to assess him, kind of look at his strengths and weaknesses. Um, on paper, how do you feel like your skill set matches up against his? Um, on paper, I like it. Uh, you know, I love it, actually. You know, I got I got the reach. Um, I got the speed. I got the better wrestling background. Uh, granted, he's undefeated, but I think I fought in way harder competition. Um, you know, I think it's just going to be a good fight for me. Um, you know, he's a great guy, uh, you know, has a good record, um, has a little hype train going behind him because he's from Team Alpha Mel and undefeated. So I can't wait to smash him and take on all of that glory. And then training camp, I know a lot, you know, you work with a lot of different guys, but sort of the main guys have kind of been helping you get through this. I would imagine, you know, Michael Johnson, Sean Soriano, guys like that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, you know that like Michael Johnson, Sean Soriano, Jason Jackson, um, Andre, uh, Kamara Usman, you know, all of these guys are in there helping me get ready. They're all telling me, like, yo, you're looking great. Um, even even Erwin Rivera. And uh, real, real big shout-out to my boy Marquez, Marquez Jackson. He's a Titan FC lightweight. You know, they've really been uh, pushing me and making sure I get my good rounds in. Yeah, that, that's great. It's always nice getting pushed like that. Um, what's the weight at right now? I know last time we talked, or even a couple weeks ago, you were like a couple pounds over. I imagine now it's the same thing. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm hovering about 162, 163. Wow. Uh, yeah, and I'm feeling great. You know what I mean? I'm still eating, um, you know, six meals a day. You know, shout out to my nutritionist, Paul, you know, from my hometown. He's uh, he's really putting it together. Good stuff. Is he going to meet you there for the fights, like as far as your meals and stuff? Is he going to be there with you? 
Yeah, uh, he'll be there at the fight. Um, as far as like, I, I I cook all my meals anyway, so you know we'll we'll be keeping in touch. Um, and everything, but yeah, he'll be there at the fight too. Okay, yeah, because I was gonna say you'll probably have all your meals uh, ready ahead of time when you go uh, for fight week, because you're not gonna, you know, it's kind of tough to eat healthy when you're around in Buffalo, especially downtown. Yeah, yeah, for sure, hundred percent. Yeah, no, I, I, it's nice that my hometown's an hour from there, so I actually probably have my mom chef it up, you know, for <laughs> exactly. her little flavor. Exactly. Take advantage of mom being there for sure. Yeah, yeah, Excellent. yeah. Uh, who's gonna be in your corner for this fight? Uh, Michael Johnson and Henry Hoof. Perfect. Yeah, oh, the dogs. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, entrance music. Have you picked that out yet? Uh, yeah, always been since I moved out to fifty five. Um, I came out to it in Russia, and they loved it. Uh, Future, Last Breath. It just gets me hype every time. They played it in the movie Southpaw. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, cheat meal, post fight, have you mapped that out yet? Like, do you have like an after party spot or like a place you're going to go to eat after the fights yet? Have you mapped that out? Um, no, we're going to go out to Chippewa, uh, to the bars on Chippewa in Buffalo. We're going to go out somewhere, the club bars and clubs. But uh, post my f- post fight food, it's just going to be whatever whatever I got the flavor for um, anything. You know what I mean? Nothing too particular. I don't have anything um, you know planned out. But yeah, whatever whatever my eyes on, that's what I'm gonna be eating. All right. And what's your prediction for this fight? We're coming up here April eighth. How do you see this fight ending? Um, I think I'm gonna get a first round TKO. I think I'm gonna get him out of there in the first. I'm gonna put the pressure on him, and uh, you know I think it, it's gonna be enough to get me to finish. Now, going into your debut, are you more nervous for your fight? Are you more nervous to sit uh, in on the crowd and watch your teammate Anthony Johnson fight in the main event? Because I know some guys, it's tough watching your teammates because you can't control the outcome. Yeah, no, um, I don't. I, you know, I, I've had so many teammates. I've been wrestling, so I, I kind of know it's it's kind of. I'm I'm not really as like ah. I know I can't do nothing about it. I just wish them the best, pray that they're healthy, and uh, you know let them and roll the dice. And uh, even for my fight. Um, you know, I'm not uh, not nervous. Is it more of a thing? It's more excitement. I'm just so excited to get out there and really want to make sure I perform and you know put on a good show. Last question for you here. I know you're taking a flight from Florida to, to Buffalo to get out there. Um, what are you going to be doing on the plane? Like, are you listening to music? Are you a podcast guy? Are you going to be watching some episodes? Like, what's what, what's sort of the game plan for the flight when you're heading over there? Uh, music, definitely. I'm a big music guy. Um, you know, I, I got a, I got an ill playlist going right now. Um, just adding to it, but uh, yeah, it's, it'll be just music, chilling. Um, you know, my weight cut isn't bad, so I won't be miserable throughout the airport. Probably grab something to eat. You know, it'll be fun. Awesome, man. Well, we're like a week away. I, I can't wait for this. I'm gonna see you next week. Uh, it's it's gonna be awesome, Des. Thanks so much for doing these video blogs, man. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, it, it's good to kind of get everyone updated on what you've been going through in fight camp. Uh, where can people find you on social media? And if you got any uh, thank yous and shout outs and sponsors, anything like that, man, the floor is yours. Yeah. Uh, so social media, um, you know, same thing. Instagram, Twitter. Predator Tune, it's P-R-E-D-A-T-O-R, Tune, T-O-O-N, um, Snapchat, Random Tune, uh, you know, Facebook, Desmond the Predator Green, and, uh, you know, just big shout-outs once again to my manager, um, you know, so I've been working with him for almost uh, two years now, and, you know, he's seen the vision in me, uh, you know, we, this is a long road, we, we both knew that I was supposed to be on, and, uh, you know, now we're here, and, uh, just plan on taking over that division. Big shout out to my teammates and my coaches, and uh, let's get it.